Hey guys, it's Julia. So in today's video, I wanted to just take an opportunity to talk to you guys about my current favorite makeup products. So for you guys who are watching my channel, it's been I think two videos ago that I posted my 2017 favorites. So it hasn't been that long for you guys, but for me it's actually been a month and a half since I filmed that video. So I did film that in early December. So by now I've accumulated a lot of new favorites, especially because I did shop for a lot of makeup over the holiday break. So I've got a lot of new stuff to show you guys. Think of it as kind of an early January favorites video. I have gotten a lot of feedback from you guys lately that's saying that you like my review based videos a lot so where I like talk to you guys about products give you guys mini reviews so that's kind of what this video is going to be I'm just going to go through my current favorite makeup products give you guys some little reviews briefly and um, just show you guys the pros and cons of each product so I really hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys so much for watching my channel make sure you're following my Instagram if you want to see the makeup looks I create and yeah so let's get right into my current favorite makeup products so I'm going to first start off with one of the best new foundations that I've tried lately I think this has skyrocketed its way to one of my top maybe even top three favorite foundations in my entire collection so that is saying something um and this is actually a foundation i haven't heard a lot about on youtube i've only heard tati and laura lee talking about this foundation really so this is the laura mercier flawless fusion foundation and when tati said that this was her new ride or die foundation i knew that i had to try it out so i did order it um from sephora and i am in the shade 1w1 ivory so it's a very light very pale warm tone shade so this is my perfect foundation match and i absolutely love this foundation it's one of those full coverage foundations that doesn't look super cakey on the skin or doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of foundation. It just kind of looks like your skin but better. So I think that's a really rare thing to find in a good full coverage foundation and I can see why Tati would really like that because that is her taste in foundations. This provides the most beautiful velvety full coverage, um, just blends out really easily and stays amazing on the skin all day long. So this is probably one of the best full coverage foundations sold at Sephora in general. And Honestly, the only bad thing I can think about this one is the price. It is $48, so that's very expensive for a foundation. I think the typical high-end foundations are around the $40 marks. Laura Mercier is a very high-quality, luxurious brand. I do think that it's kind of in line with her lining and pricing, but still, it's a very expensive foundation, but I do like to invest in my foundations, and I don't really mind paying a little bit more for a good, flawless base. So this one really gives that to me. I absolutely love this foundation, and it's amazing. It doesn't have a scent at all, so if you're sensitive to smells, I think this would be a great option. And Tati did say that this was a dupe for the YSL All Hours Foundation, so if you're wanting a good, cruelty-free dupe, go for this one. I've really, really been enjoying this one. I really like the finish with a sponge or a brush, so whichever one you're more comfortable with using, I think you would definitely enjoy this foundation. I've definitely been loving it so far. All right, and then yet another luxury item. This is probably the most expensive makeup item I have in my collection. Definitely the most I've ever spent on a makeup single item itself. Um, my Pat McGrath Mothership palette, I've absolutely been adoring this one. This is the Mothership 2 in Sublime, and oh, these colors are absolutely stunning. I, I'm honestly just entranced by everything Pat McGrath does. I think her products are amazing quality, very luxurious, and she's selling an experience. So this palette is definitely an experience. It does come with only two mattes, so normally that would bother me, but these are two of the greatest mattes I've ever tried in my life. I think this is the best matte black in my collection. And then the matte brown is really, really blendable, just diffuses so easily on the eyes. I've talked about this at length in many of my videos so far, so I've really, really been enjoying this palette. This has just been a really special palette when I want my eye look to turn out very luxurious, when I want some really gorgeous foiled glittery shadows. I go for the shimmers in here. This is just an amazing palette. It's super expensive. It's $125, so... I don't think this is in everyone's budget, I think it's kind of a crazy price, but Pat McGrath is one of the few makeup brands where I can really just be like, yes, I will support you and give you my $125 because I think this is just a really amazing thing. You're, she's selling you a luxurious experience and she definitely delivers it, so. This is an amazing palette, um, it's really expensive, but in my opinion, this is 100% worth it. All right, so I know I'm a little bit late in talking about these ones, but I did get these for Christmas, so I've really been enjoying these so far. These are the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I got the light set, so it comes with the amber, contour stick, the linen um, concealer stick, and then the Star Star highlighting stick. I've really been enjoying these so far. Specifically, I've been enjoying the contour and concealer stick. I love that these are magnetized, so they kind of stick together. You can arrange them in whatever like fun patterns you want, so it's really, really cool. I really adore the contour stick in amber. This is a really nice cool tone brown, so it's a perfect contour shade for me, but it does not look muddy on the face, and it blends out just beautifully. So this is amazing for cheekbone contour, nose contour, basically everything. I find that sometimes contour sticks work really well in the cheeks, but not so well in the nose, but this one just is sublime in every area of the face. I've seen some people not really liking the concealer sticks. I happen to really like this one. I, 
I do like to use this for priming my eyelids. I don't really use this under the eyes just because it's kind of like a drier texture, but it's amazing for setting the eyelids and doing the sides of the nose or the tops of the cheekbones. So I really like this and I do think it pairs really well with the contour stick. The highlighter stick. A lot of people have really not been enjoying the matchstick highlighters for some reason. You'd think this would be a creamy formula since it's in a stick, but it is pretty dry and it can be a little bit gritty, but the way I've been applying this is kind of a high maintenance way. I do like to... I take my finger and just rub it across and I get a little bit of color pigmentation and then I just pat it lightly onto the areas of my face that I want to highlight and it just creates the most beautiful soft glow and it just looks so gorgeous. So I've really been enjoying the matchsticks. I think they are a bit of a drier formula, especially the concealer and the um, highlighter formula, but the contour stick is amazing and I think together they make a really nice trio. So I've been loving the matchstick. basically love everything that I've tried from Fenty Beauty, so I haven't really encountered any fails so far from their brand and I don't think I will because Rihanna is on a roll with her stuff. So Fenty Beauty matchsticks have been one of my favorites so far and I've really been enjoying them. So these are the only um, tools that I'm gonna talk about in this video, but I did make a big order from Shop Miss A, which is a online dollar store and they sell a lot of really cool um, $1 brushes, um, eyelashes, and even some makeup. So I did want to try out some of their stuff. I didn't really order a lot of their makeup products, but I did order a ton of brushes and a ton of eyelashes. So if you'd like to see a haul video, I would really be happy to do that and give you guys some of my reviews on some of the products. But so far, these have been my two favorite products from that haul. Um, the first one has been this brush here. This is the AOA Studio High Def F8 Foundation Brush. So this, as you can see, it's kind of um, tapered and it comes up into a triangle. So this is one of my favorite new foundation brushes. It's a good dupe for the Sigma 3D HD foundation brushes and I thought this would be a really really cool way to apply your foundation and so far I've really been enjoying it. I did use it today with my foundation. I'm wearing the Kevin Aquan Etherealist foundation and this just blends it out so seamlessly. doesn't create any streaks on the face and I think this is an amazing very high quality foundation brush. And then the hairs are very soft. It is synthetic like all of my brushes because I only use vegan brushes but these are really really good high quality brushes and I definitely recommend the F8 foundation brush. However if you prefer to use a sponge with your foundation which I've recently been getting back into um, I would definitely recommend the AOA Studio um, Wonder Blender. This is the Wonder Blender in Sculpted, so they do have like a beauty blender style that's a teardrop. They do have a beveled one, and then they have this one that's sculpted, and I've really been enjoying this one. It's really soft, just blends out everything amazingly, and I think it's a perfect dupe for the beauty blender. So if you've been wanting to try out a really good foundation sponge, this is only a dollar. It's I definitely recommend this one, or if you want a really good brush, this one's amazing. So definitely recommend these ones from AOA Studio. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of their brushes or sponges, so I I would definitely recommend trying them out and for a dollar you can't really go wrong. Alright, so lately I've been enjoying a new perfume. Before this I was using the Outre Mai Paris um, Vanilla Perfume. That was $18 from Anthropology, so I really like that perfume. But this one has kind of replaced it as my top favorite perfume. I actually got this perfume for Christmas. It is the KKW Beauty um, New Crystal Perfume. And this one is the Scent Gardenia Citrus. It's simple, minimalistic, understated packaging, but the scent is beautiful. This is one of the only um, strong scented perfumes. Like it, The scent is very um, potent and you can definitely smell it, but it doesn't give me a headache and it lasts all day long. So I've really been enjoying this perfume. This is the only thing I've tried from KKW Beauty. I haven't tried any of her makeup products just yet because I haven't really seen anything that's really drawn me in. But I'm waiting for some new products to drop. I definitely think I'm going to be picking up the KKW Mario collaboration. So, so far I'm happy with this perfume. It's just been really amazing. I love the scent and I just love the lasting power of it. So this this is one of those rare perfumes that I really just fall in love with and yeah, really been enjoying this one. Alright, so I actually discovered a new pair of lashes that I've really been loving. Um, my friend actually got these for Christmas because I told her I liked the Eyelore Vegas Nail Lashes and these are not the Vegas Nail Lashes. She got me instead the Eyelore Lux Opulent Lashes. These are absolutely beautiful and I actually like these a lot more. These are a mink effect lashes. They kind of feel like silk lashes but they are, they are synthetic so 100% vegan and these are really, really beautiful. I like to wear these with and without eyeshadows, so these just give a kind of fluffy, natural lash look. They do look like your actual lashes. You could probably pass these off as your real lashes, but they're just so lush and beautiful. If you pair them with dramatic eyeshadow like this one, they can be very dramatic, but if you pair them with no eyeshadow, it's just a really nice, soft look. These are probably the most versatile lashes, and I love wearing these to class. So I really enjoy these lashes. Thank you so much to my friend Michelle for buying me these, and... Yeah, I really recommend these ones, so I'm definitely picking up more pairs of these because 
Thanks to Michelle, I found my new favorite pair of lashes. Now I want to talk about a very affordable highlighter that I recently discovered. This is from Jcat Beauty. It's called the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. You can find this at Ulta. I did actually pick this up at a boutique in Hawaii, so they were selling this for some reason. And I was really drawn in by the gorgeous um, pattern embossed into the highlighter. And then this shade is a little darker than I would normally go for. It's a little bit more bronzy, but I think during summer, if I do tan a little bit, I would like to wear this on my cheekbone. But right now, I'm just kind of mixing it with a lighter highlighter on my face. But but, um, I just want to show you guys it in action, so I'm going to highlight um, my shoulder for you guys. It's just a really beautiful, I don't even know if you can see this in my ISO, but it's just a really gorgeous, beautiful, big highlighter, and it doesn't have a lot of glitter in it, so it's not going to emphasize texture on your face. This just creates the most beautiful, natural, beautiful bronze glow, and I think it's gorgeous. So they do have a lot of different shades. I think there's a rose one, there's a white one, there's a huge shade range, so I'm definitely picking up more of these ones, but um, the shade Twilight, and I think it's just a stunning, stunning highlighter, so definitely recommend these ones. These are kind of a diamond in the rough, and I don't really hear anyone talking about these ones, but the Jcat You Glow Girl Big Highlighters are amazing. This is a foundation that professional makeup artists use, that drag artists use, and that they use in the film industry. This is the Dermacol Film Studio Makeup Cover Foundation. So I saw this on Nikki Tutorials' channel. She was doing a big review, and it looked super full coverage, and her skin looked absolutely amazing. So I've heard a lot of good reviews and a lot of bad reviews on this one, so I just wanted to try it out for myself. It was, I think, $13 on Amazon, and it took two days to get to my house, so that was really cool. The European Foundation, it's from Prague, the Czech Republic, so, and it is cruelty-free. I did some research, and it does appear to be cruelty-free, so that's really cool. I'm in the shade um, 207, so this is a very, very light foundation. I think it's the lightest shade that they carry, um, and I really love this foundation. I think you really need a tiny, tiny amount. The way I use this is I, um, I open it up, it's like a squeeze bottle, and I just barely squirt a tiny, tiny bit out, as you can see, very, very little, and I just dot that all over my face, blend it out with a very fluffy um, foundation brush. I don't use a dense one, I use like a kind of um, buffing foundation brush, and it just looks amazing on my skin and lasts all day long. So when I am having a day that I'm going to be wearing my makeup for a very long time, and I know I'm not gonna get home until very late at night, I wear this one because it keeps my makeup looking great all day and I barely need to touch up. So this is really, really good. I do recommend this one. It is very full coverage and I think if you have problem skin, if you have acne on your face or if you have acne scarring, this will cover it right up. So definitely recommend this one. A little goes a very long way, but it's really, really good. And for $13, Dang. All right, so I have a new mascara that I want to talk to you guys about, and I'm not a huge mascara person. I normally just kind of go with whatever because I do wear falsies most of the time, but a good mascara really makes the biggest difference on the lower lash line, and just lately, I've kind of been veering away towards more natural makeup looks, so when I'm not going to wear lashes and a full face of makeup, I do like to have a good mascara to make my lashes look nice and full. So I've really been enjoying the new Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. So this is different from the original um, Lash Princess because it is a curved wand. This is very inexpensive. I think it was around the $5 mark, so I've heard a lot of good things about this Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and I wanted to put it to the test. This is amazing. Um, I think this has replaced the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara as my number one favorite in my collection because this is beautiful. It's an amazing formula, very black, um, just coats the lashes in gorgeous pigmentation, but creates the most beautiful, voluminous, lush, and long lashes. I think this really is the best of both worlds. It does everything I want it to, and yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of this mascara, and it's really inexpensive, so definitely recommend this one. It is my new Ride or Die mascara, and I've really, really been loving this one. All right, so I have a lipstick from Pat McGrath that I wanted to mention to you guys because this has really taken my heart, and I definitely want to buy more colors of this um, formula. This is the Matte Trans Lipstick from Pat McGrath Labs in the shade Omi. It looks at first glance like a very basic color, but it just appears as this most beautiful muted kind of mauvey rose shade. It's kind of straddling between warm and cool, so it's the perfect like neutral shade. And I just love this for every day. Whenever I can't think of what lip color I want to use, I reach for this one because chances are with whatever eye look I'm using, it will work. Obviously the tube is gorgeous. You've got these gold lips on here. It just feels very luxurious and weighty. And then I love the way she designed this tube. It's really cool. If you twist the gold one up here, um, the lipstick will twist out where you can, um, if you're applying it, you'll be able to see the lips in the front. But if you twist the black down here, it'll just twist up like normal. So that is really, really cool to me. I think she did a really amazing job designing the lipstick packaging and the formula is absolutely amazing. It is very matte and can feel a little bit dry after a couple hours, but if you're touching it up, um, but if you're touching it up, it will look amazing. This is one swipe pigmentation. This is the most pigmented lipstick in a not liquid lipstick formula that I've ever tried, so 
These are really amazing. They're super expensive. They're $38 a tube, so really pricey. I think it is definitely an investment and it's a very luxurious product, but Pat McGrath, again, is one of those makeup brands that I just really feel attached to. They create art and I think I really like investing in their makeup products, so. I've really been enjoying this lipstick. I think it's really amazing and her matte trans formula is amazing. Yeah, I really love this one. It's super expensive, but I've fallen in love. I have another eyeshadow pelt that I want to talk to you guys about. This wasn't in my 2017 favorites video, I don't think, but this has been one of my favorite new palettes lately. This is the Kathleen Lights X ColourPop Dream Street Palette. I've really been enjoying this one. I think this is probably my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow palette to date. Um, the colors in here are stunning. I really like the color story she put together. But most of all, I think the formula is what really stands out to me. These are better than the pressed powder um, singles and they're better than all the other palettes that they carry. This is kind of like, to me, what the quality of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill one is compared to the other Morphe shadows. The Morphe shadows are good but the Morphe Jaclyn Hill one is better. The ColourPop shadows are good, but this one is amazing. So I think this is definitely worth more than $16. I think this is a $30 palette at the very least, and it's really, really good. So just absolutely stunning. I've loved every single look I created with this one, and so far, just really been reaching for this a lot. This says a lot to me when I've been reaching for a palette often, because I have 45 eyeshadow palettes in my collection at this point, and I reach for, and I like to rotate through them a lot, so when I'm reaching for a palette more than like three times a week, that shows me that I really love it, and I've been doing that with this palette, so really been enjoying this one, definitely recommend it. Um, it's just an amazing formula, and it's $16, so Kathleen and ColourPop did a really amazing job with this one, and yeah, it's really, really good. I've kind of rediscovered and re-fallen in love with a eyebrow product. I was kind of using brow pencils for most of 2017, but I did discover this at the end of the year, in December, and I've really been enjoying this one. The Anastasia Dip Brow, it's a cult classic for a reason. These are very pigmented and just such an amazing dip brow pomade, I think. Probably one of the only brow pomades that I found really just has no flaws. This is very pigmented, you need a very small amount, so this is going to last you for forever. And I think for an $18 pomade, that's really amazing, just because you won't need to repurchase this more than once a year. This just blends very well through the brow, it's very easy to apply, and I think if you're wanting the perfect Instagram brows, that kind of nice fade, you need this brow pomade. This is the only thing I've ever found to be able to create that, and it's just really, really effortless and easy to use. And this is just really amazing for just creating the most perfect sculpted brows. So I've really been enjoying the Anastasia de Brow Pomade. It's $18 and I think you just really can't go wrong with this one. I have one more foundation to mention to you guys and this one is pretty affordable. It's only $17. This is the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. So you can find this at Target or wherever they sell number seven for you. And this is really amazing. I am in the shade Warm Ivory and the one complaint I have about this one is the shade range. The undertones are really whack. This one's called Warm Ivory, but it's kind of a cool tone shade. So I mix this with the Fenty Beauty Foundation in 140 and this creates the most perfect shade for me but I can't use this without mixing it because it just looks kind of cool toned and weird on my skin but this is a really really good foundation. It's a medium coverage foundation but you can build it up to full coverage and when I mix it with the Fenty foundation it just creates the most beautiful like veil of foundation on my face and it just looks amazing. If you get kind of oily throughout the day like me, um, I get a little bit oily in the t-zone. This will not break up, it won't like move around on your face, it just kind of lets the oil through in a way that looks kind of dewy but not like greasy. So. I don't know, that sounds weird, but it's a really, really good foundation. I think this is one of the best ones I've tried from the drugstore, and yeah, it's really, really good. So yeah, number seven foundations, as far as they go, are probably the best ones at the drugstore that I've tried, and I've really been enjoying the Stay Perfect. All right, so a concealer that I have to talk to you guys about. Um, I haven't really been using this a ton, just because I am trying to pan my um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so I've been using that basically every day, but when I'm not using that one, I am using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral, and I've seen a lot of people not liking this one, just because it does dry down to a different color. Um, people have said this oxidizes on them. I haven't really noticed that on my skin tone, um, which is weird because normally a lot of things turn darker on me, but this one for whatever reason does not do that to me, so really good. Um, I just really like the coverage of this concealer. I think it's kind of the perfect medium between the Urban Decay Naked Skin and the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you're wanting a good like baby of those two, this one is amazing. And it's only $6. So, so yeah, very affordable. I think this provides amazing coverage. Um, it doesn't crease too badly on me. I don't really notice a lot of creasing with this one and it's just really, really good. So this is definitely high-end quality at a very affordable price, and I definitely recommend the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Worried about oxidization? Just go a shade lighter than you would normally go, 
ago and I think you'll be fine. So really recommend these ones and for the price you can't go wrong. All right, so next I have a highlighting palette that I wanted to mention to you guys. And this one has really just taken my heart. And I know that this is not gonna be necessarily everyone's favorite um, color scheme for highlighting, but I've really been enjoying it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Palette. So I bought this on Black Friday, I think, or yeah, sometime around Black Friday in Vegas. And this was $24 on Black Friday weekend. So very affordable. I got it at a great discounted price. These colors are very fun. You get some blue highlighters in here, blue eyes, star, and blue moon. You get a green Lucky Clover. You get a nice pink one, so I find this one to be a little bit more versatile. But then if you want a really cool pop of color, purple horseshoe. It's gorgeous. It's a nice purple highlighter. And whenever I'm wearing a good purple eyeshadow look, I use this on my inner corner or even on my cheekbones. This and the Aurora Glow Kit, which I wasn't going to buy before, but I think I'm going to have to buy now because I really like this one. Um, these are not for the faint of heart. If you do not like colored highlights, you will not like this palette. But... Personally, I love colored highlights. I think they're a very fun way to add some like color to your look, just a really nice way to add some uniqueness, and I've really been enjoying them. So yeah, the Anastasia Moonchild palette has really been inspiring me. I think it's a really cool way to incorporate some color into your look, and I just really like the formula of these as well. I think Anastasia really knocks it out of the park with the glow kit formulas. I do have the Nicole glow kit as well, and that's a really, really good one. So join the Moonchild glow kit and definitely recommend any Anastasia glow kits. All right, and the last product that I want to mention is actually something I included in my 2017 favorites video, but I've been using this basically a lot <laughs> since that video, and it is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade um, Uncensored. So this is a, the perfect, perfect red. I wear this when I want to feel powerful. This is just a damn beautiful shade. And I think that a red lip can really transform any look, so when I'm wanting like a classic lip, I go for the shade. When I'm wanting a powerful, like stunning, just really eye-catching lip, I go for the shade. It's just a really, just it's just the perfect red. So this is just the perfect red. It's a really great formula as well. I think it's one of the only matte liquid lipstick formulas that doesn't feel super like disgusting and horrible on my lips. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. And um, the only way that this wears away is if I eat and it kind of wears down in the middle, but you can just touch it up. It's a really, really amazing formula. So I definitely recommend the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paints. I cannot wait for more colors to come out. And this is just the perfect red. So definitely recommend this one. It's the number one selling lipstick in Sephora for a reason. I think it's just a really revolutionary lipstick and it's really, really good. So yeah, that was my final current favorite and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know in the comments below what are your current favorites right now. I really want to try out some of your stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed down below for more content like this one and make sure you're following my Instagram for makeup looks. So yeah, if you made it to the very end of this video, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching my channel.